We went to Scotland the next day, first by plane, then by train. Greta Ross traveled with us. I looked out of the train window and saw fields and villages and mountains. Mom is right, I thought. Scotland is a very beautiful place. You are going to be my husband's secretary, Greta Ross told my mother. He is a businessman, but he never leaves the island. He does all his work by telephone and letter and computer. He invests money in companies all over the world. Do many people live on the island? He asked. Not many, said Greta Ross. You'll meet them soon. Greta Ross is young, I thought. Is her husband young too? How can a young man buy an island? Is he very rich? After the train, we went on Mrs. Ross' boat, which took us out to the island. The boatman was a young man. He had dark hair and was brown from the sun. This is Tony, said Greta Ross. He works for Mr. Ross. Hi, said Tony. Soon, we were near the island. I could see the beaches and the cliffs. The boat slowed down. There are dangerous rocks around the island, explained Tony. A lot of them are under the water and you can't see them. I have to be careful, but the rocks keep other boats away, and that pleases Mr. Ross. Why? I asked. Tony looked at Greta Ross, but she wasn't listening. Mr. Ross doesn't like visitors to the island, Tony said in a quiet voice. Then. Greta Ross looked at us and Tony said no more. Why doesn't Mr. Ross like visitors? I thought. Has he something to hide? When we arrived on the island, my mother and I followed Greta up to the house. It was very big and there were trees all around it. A woman was waiting inside the house. This is Mrs. Duncan, Tony's mother, said Greta. She is the housekeeper and her husband is the gardener. Mrs. Duncan will take you up to your rooms. I'm going to tell Mr. Ross you arrived. The housekeeper was a little woman with short hair. She went up the stairs and my mother and I went after her. My room was next to my mother's. I looked out of the window and saw the gardens at the back of the house. A man was working in the garden near some trees. Is that Mr. Duncan? I thought. I looked between the trees and saw the sea. It's a beautiful house and a beautiful island. That evening, we had dinner with Mr. and Mrs. Duncan and Tony. We ate in the big kitchen. What happened to Mr. Ross's last secretary? Asked my mother. She is in hospital, replied Mrs. Duncan. She is going to be away all summer. Isn't Mrs. Ross lonely here? I asked. No, said Mrs. Duncan. She likes painting a lot. She has a room upstairs and goes there to paint. She's very good. Sometimes she goes to different places on the island to paint pictures. We finished eating our meal. Soon after, Greta Ross came into the kitchen. Mr. Ross wants to see you and your daughter now, Mrs. Saunders, she said. 
follow me, please. We followed her through the house and into a big room. This was Mr. Ross's office and he was sitting behind a desk. I was surprised. He was a young man, about 30. He had a mustache, short dark hair and he wore glasses. Mr. Ross was speaking into the telephone. Who does he look like? I thought. Is it uh, Tony Duncan? Mr. Ross is talking to a business friend in New York, said Greta. Please sit down. While he waited, I looked around the office. There were three telephones, a computer, and lots of books and papers. There was another door and I could see a smaller room next to the office. There was a smaller desk and another computer in there. Mr. Ross finished speaking on the phone, then looked carefully at my mother and me. For a few seconds he didn't speak and just watched us. Then he said, I'm pleased to meet you, Mr. Saunders. I need some help with my work. My secretary is in hospital and there is a lot of work to do. Sometimes you'll have to work late at night because of time differences in New York and Tokyo. Is that all right? Yes, that's all right, said my mother. Can you use a computer? Yes. Good. He looked at me. Is this your daughter? Yes, this is Carol, said my mother. Hello, I said. Greta says you like gardening. There is a big garden here, so you can help Mr. Duncan. And there is a farm. Dan and Stella Parks live in the farmhouse and work on the farm. You can help them too. Uh, we have some animals, some sheep, a few cows and chickens, and there is a horse called Spoke. He is gray, likes his name. Can you ride? Yes, I said. I can ride a horse. You can ride a Spoke around the island if you like. I like that, I said. Thank you. And we grow vegetables and fruit, he said. I work on the farm sometimes. I enjoy it. I smiled at him, but he didn't smile back. Carol will enjoy working on the farm, said my mother. Won't you, Carol? Yes, I said. Mr. Ross looked sad. I thought, but how did he get all his money? And why does he hide away on an island?